welcome. If you're new here, my name is Melissa, and I just really appreciate you stopping by today. If you like organizing, decorating, cooking, cleaning, menu planning, grocery hauls, fashion, product reviews, and plan with me's, then this channel will definitely have something for you. So today we are in the third day of our zone three um, zone cleaning, and we're still in our master bathroom, and today, it's not going to be a difficult day. It should go fairly quickly. All we're doing is going through our linen closet and looking at, um, you know, whether or not you have medications that are expired or that you just plain don't use anymore, or if you have towels that are kind of ratty and you need to um, either throw them away or turn them into dust rags or. Um, you know, cleaning rags. If that happens to be where you store your sheets or your bedding, going through there and just making sure that everything has a match. Uh, and if it doesn't, then putting it in a donate pile or if it's not donate worthy, then either turning it into dust rags, cleaning rags, or just throwing it in the trash. And after we finish that, we're just gonna go through and um, dust the shutters or your blinds, whatever you have. Um, for window coverings in your bathroom and getting those nice and clean. It shouldn't take too long. I'll bring you along with me as I do mine and kind of explain to you a little bit as to how I organize my linen closet and hopefully it will bring you inspiration and maybe just some helpful tips to add to your linen closet in your homes as well. So friends, this is my current linen closet situation. And as you can see, I don't store a lot of stuff in here necessarily. Um, it's all kind of contained in these buckets and the buckets all have labels on them, but I don't keep towels for other rooms in here. I don't keep sheets at all in here. Um, I just keep exactly what my husband and I need in this bathroom for ourselves along with our medications for our family because I don't want them out and about in other rooms. I like to have them safe in here, if you will. So let me um, just kind of explain a little bit about um, how I organize this, this closet and then we'll talk about uh, what we're going to be doing for today. So these bins um, on the top that have the the medical cross on them, I have had those now, oh my goodness, probably for five years. Um, I got them at Target about five years ago in the dollar spot and they have been the best buckets. I love the color for one but they're just really sturdy and around this time of year is when you can start looking for those because that's when target kind of starts to bring out their organizing bins and things because people are starting to um, think about spring cleaning so keep your eyes peeled for those if i can find a link um, that is somewhat comparable then um, i'll go ahead and put it down below but I just made these labels here on PicMonkey and I just picked a template that they already had and added text to it on PicMonkey, printed it off and laminated it and stuck it on there with some double-sided tape. And, and what I have in these bins, so the one over here is children's cold and flu relief. And then in the middle I have children's pain relief. And then over here on the right, children's allergy. And I have that on the um, second to highest shelf just for my own personal sanity. And then down below here, I have adult cold and flu relief, adult pain relief, and adult allergy. And then over here on the side, uh, right here, I have like um, the little cups that come with the liquid medications, 
kind of, you know, the measuring cups. I have a pill cutter in there and that's where I keep my thermometer. Over here on the right, um, right here in this bucket is where I have all of our wound care. And that's like um, peroxide, wound wash, um, neosporin, these, um, and I'll show you more in a second, but these containers right here are actually just like tackle boxes that I got from Walmart. And that's where I keep my band-aids. That way I don't have tons and tons of boxes all over and you know, you go to get a band-aid and there's like either zero or one in the box and it's just a total circus. So for me, that helps me keep those organized. And then up above that is where I have um, my dog towels that I use to dry off my dogs when I groom them. And then down below I have towels and then towels. I have um, heating pads and hot water bottles. And then over here on the right, I have um, both uh, the clippers that my son and husband use, as well as the dog clippers, and then the dog shampoo and conditioner for, again, when I groom or bathe them. Lastly, on the bottom, I have uh, two buckets where I store toilet paper. And then these two um, buckets over here are where I keep my kids' humidifiers in case you know, they get a cold or um, start to get bloody noses or things like that. Again, we live in Colorado where it's extremely dry. And so I keep those there. And then underneath, those are just bath mats that I put under the humidifier when it's in their bedroom. That way it kind of helps absorb some of that moisture that's falling and I don't end up with just a total sopping carpet floor underneath the humidifier. So I just keep those right there underneath. That way when I need the humidifier, everything that goes with it is right there and I don't have to go searching for things. Then over here on the door of my linen closet, I just have um, some printables that I printed off of Pinterest and um, off Google. I don't know if you can see that very well or not, but all I did was print them off and laminate them and then I just um, punched some holes on each side and then hung them on the wall with um, just 3M hooks. And so up here on the top is um, just a couple sheets that have different essential oil recipes for different things. And then down there on the bottom, again I don't know how well you can see that, I don't think it's showing up very clear. but. I just went on Google and printed off like the different dosages for ages. And if you just type in like Tylenol Junior dosage um, or something like that, um, these will come up and you can just print them straight from Google. And so as you can see, I have one for um, Junior Tylenol and then I have one for Advil and then I have one for Motrin. And again, I just laminated them, uh, punched holes in the sides, and just hung them up there with some 3M um, hooks, and they're perfect. You know, obviously, um, you can read the back of the container, but what I like is it's a very visual sheet, and so if you have a babysitter or something that, you know, may not be super familiar with giving um, medicine, then this is perfect. You know, they can come, they can find the little um, measuring cup that you have in your closet and they can match it to the picture and make sure that they give the exact dose. And I really wish that this was coming up a lot clearer than what it is, but right here it shows you like what the dosage would look like in a, um, kind of syringe squeeze, and then here in the measuring cup, and then over here, how many tablets, um, if it's in tablet form, and then it shows you know, the exact picture of the medication. So it just kind of leaves all of the guessing out of the picture, which for my mama bear self makes me feel much more comfortable. So right now, what I'm going to do is just go through every one of these buckets and I'm going to look at the expiration dates, make sure that um, everything is up to date, and if it's not, 
then I will uh, get rid of it and um, just wipe out my buckets and I'll be good to go. One thing that I like doing is when I get the children's Tylenol chewable is I separate them all and take them out of their original package. They all have an expiration date on each individual um, tablet, and so I don't have to worry about not knowing you know, when that particular one expires. But I just separate them all, and then I put them in a little plastic baggie, and I just keep them in here that way. That way I'm not having to like separate them every time, and for me, this just works and keeps it a lot more organized. bucket. I keep some additional measuring cups as well as a um, thermometer and a syringe. And that just goes right in there. It's just interesting as you go through this, you know, you think, oh, my stuff is up to date. Um, and I do this, you know, every seven weeks, but this is all of the stuff that I just pulled out of the adult cold and flu relief um, that is expired. So that's why you got to keep on top of it. I keep uh, some scissors in case I need to use them for some different wraps or tape. And then this is what I was referring to. And granted, you know, you do not have to go to this extent. Um, I realize that not everyone is as OCD as I am. But just to give you an idea, so what I did. Um, was I just cut out the, the picture that was on the um, container when I purchased it and I just stuck it here on the box um, with some, some tape, some double-sided tape. And that way I know exactly what is in each one of these sections and I know what I need to refill. Um, and I know that when I purchase them, then I just come back in here and I stick them in there and that's what I have. Um, it also makes it really easy for my kids as well uh, because they can just come in here and I kind of don't have to do that for them anymore uh, just because they can come in here and grab you know, the one that they need. So that's how I keep that organized. And then I also keep some Neosporin in there on the side. But as you can see, it's just a tackle box that I purchased from uh, Walmart and it just keeps it um, nice and organized inside. This one, I just keep uh, some bacitracin and some tape and then just kind of your regular everyday band-aids. I keep some gauze pads in here and then just some really big um, patch band-aids. And then this is just some extra Neosporin as well. And those just fit nicely right on the side there. And that's how I store them. So even though you think that, you know, the stuff that you have in your closet is up to date and, you know, that it's not something that you need to worry with, um, it's just a perfect example that 
stuff expires and you know it expires usually right before we need it and then we go to use it and realize that it's expired so as I take things out and realize that uh, it is expired I just add it to a list and then the next time that I go to the store uh, I just go ahead and pick those things up and bring them back in and put them away now on the very top shelf is um, where we store our fire extinguishers and then before I put these um, buckets back, I just went ahead and wiped over the top of um, my shelf liner. I just have this um, kind of blue and white pattern here that I purchased from Target. And I know that they do still have it because I just saw it there yesterday. Um, so if you want to get that, it's uh, currently in stock. So I just wiped that down before I put my buckets back. And then on these shelves right here is where I store my towels. And I just fold them inside here into thirds and then thirds again. And it's just the perfect size to um, fit inside of this bucket. And I just have two um, of those buckets that um, I store towels in for only this room. I don't have towels in here for any other room other than the master bathroom. So I have those in there. And then in this bucket is where I store my uh, heat pads, my hot water bottles, um, those wraps that you can put in the microwave and warm up. And all of that just fits right in here and is just uh, nicely tucked out of the way. And then lastly, this bucket over here is where I store um, all of our clippers for both my son and my husband, as well as um, scissors and our dog's um, shampoo and conditioner. And it just all fits right inside of there. And then, like I said, down here on the bottom is where I store our humidifiers. And I just have everything in here that I need. So right here is the humidifier. And then on this side, you can see the cord and the top. And I have two of those, and then I just store them right on top of the bath mats that um, I put under them when they're in use. That way the carpet doesn't get all damp and gross. And then lastly over here is where the toilet paper is. And it's during this time that I go through and um, fill up those buckets. And it's around this time that I go in and fill up those buckets if they're running low. And now that's all ready for um, the next few weeks. So now the last thing that I'm gonna do is just go around the bathroom and dust off my shutters with that little green duster that I used in um, my other zone cleaning videos. And after that, then I'll be finished. a little bit of the intimidation from a linen closet. There's 
so many different things that um, you know a lot of people have to store in there and so it can just really become intimidating if uh, you allow it to but I hope that I was able to show you some different ways to organize your linen closet at your home um, and just kind of give you some helpful tips that might bring um, just a little bit more peace into your space. If you liked this video today, then please give it a thumbs up and click on that link down below. And if you loved this video, then I would absolutely love for you to join our intentional community here on YouTube. I just want to thank everyone for watching and just the outpour of support that I have received over this last week and a half. And it's just been it's been so much fun for me and um, I'm not normally someone that stands in front of a camera um, or gets up in front and so for me this is totally stepping out of my comfort zone but I feel like for myself the time has come that I start to be more intentional in my life and I'm just hoping that by me doing that and by me showing you all just little simple ways that I help keep myself and my family organized, that then in return that will allow you to be more intentional in your lives as well. So please share this channel with anyone who you feel could benefit from this community, who is looking to be more intentional um, in their lives and in their homes and in their families in 2018 and even beyond that. Friends, until next time, I challenge you to intentionally create a life that you absolutely love living and won't need a vacation from. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.